Hi everyone, my name is Alex Frankel. I'm a program manager for Azure Blueprints. And today we're just gonna do a quick overview of what Blueprints are, how Blueprints work, and how Blueprints can help you. A Blueprint is a way to deploy and update cloud environments in a repeatable manner using composable artifacts. Those artifacts include role-based access controls, or RBAC, policy definitions and assignments, and ARM templates for deploying a wide variety of Azure resources. When those artifacts are packaged together, that's what creates an Azure Blueprint. And from there, it makes it really easy to assign those blueprints to many subscriptions, which can help you scale out your use of Azure really quickly, but still maintaining those uh, key foundational elements across all of those uh, subscriptions. This is what a blueprint looks like in the Azure portal. As you can see here, we've called out the subscription that the blueprint is going to be assigned to. That's a placeholder until the blueprint is actually assigned. We have a resource group here. Again, that's a placeholder resource group until the blueprint actually gets assigned to the subscription. And then a variety of artifacts in that resource group including uh, adding the Contoso networking group, um, adding that role as an owner to this resource group, creating a virtual network in this resource group, as well as adding two policies, uh, one to regulate uh, what inbound and outbound ports I'm allowed to use, and one to audit if I'm using a particular feature of VMs called managed disks. And the way a blueprint works, uh, simply a cloud engineer um, or other blueprint author would create the blueprint, add those artifacts as we just looked at uh, to the blueprint, so that includes policies, ARM templates, and RBAC, and then the blueprint gets assigned to the subscription by that same cloud engineer. Once the blueprint has been assigned, the application team will get access uh, to that created environment, and all those foundational pieces like policies, resources, and RBAC have already been created, and they can use Azure the way they already know how to use, but in a governed environment. If you'd like to learn more about Blueprints, you can simply visit this link, aka.ms slash whatareblueprints.